if you've been losing money on buying the dip. It's because you didn't know this indicator yet. You're not alone. Many beginner traders often find themselves purchasing the wrong dip, but don't worry. We're here to guide you step by step. To showcase how buying the dip can be a profitable trading strategy using one unique indicator. Let's suppose we've seen a stock plummet. It's tempting to purchase it at a perceived discount. We believe a recovery is imminent. That's the catch. Instead of bouncing back, the stock often slumps further, leading to distress. To avoid this, here is a step-by-step -step guide to mastering the technique of buying the dip. With the help of just one indicator, let's dive right in. Step 1. Understand the business. Before putting your money into any stock, get acquainted with the company's business structure. Ask yourself, is the company's business driven by intrinsic value? Or is it struggling to grow with a slacking stock price? Indeed, we've even done some of the work for you, we've analyzed, filtered, and compiled over 100 high growth stocks. Click the link in the description to download. You could directly import them to your trading view watch list. Step 2. Scrutinize the financials. Once you understand the business model, delve into the company's financial position. Assess balance sheets, income statements, and cash flow reports. A good company shows a consistent growth in revenue or profits, sometimes even during a bear market. Step 3. Evaluate the management. Diligently examine their track records, capacities, ethical standpoints, and their forward-looking strategies. Step 4. Identify the moat, or the long-term competitive edge. It could be brand loyalty, patents, regulatory protection, or first-mover advantage. Companies boasting a wide moat typically represent safer investment choices. However, careful that every company is calling themselves an AI company. But are they really delivering something to a high-demand market? Or merely leveraging attractive but empty jargon to inflate their business valuations? Step 5. Wait for the dip. Keep your eyes on stock prices and wait for that perfect moment. Step 6. Analyze the dip. And ensure you understand why it's happening to reliably identify potential reversals. Employ the trade dots indicator. Monitor the daily or weekly time frame for red dot signals on the chart, indicating a possible cessation of a downturn. Step 7. Implementing a margin of safety. Study the recovery period of stocks during black swan events such as COVID-19.com and global economic crises. Employ a stop loss strategy by using the longest recovery period as a time stop for your investment, providing a safety cushion against uncertainties or inaccuracies in your analysis. Last but not least, all you have to do is to stay patient and let the price play out. Regularly monitor the stocks to consistently track the company's performance, financial state, and stock price trends. If the fundamentals start to deteriorate, or the stock becomes significantly overvalued, it might be the right time to sell, remember. Trading is a journey, not a race. In essence, buying the dip can be a profitable strategy when combined with meticulous observation and market analysis. Subscribe and stay tuned for more trading videos. Until then, see you in the next one.